So of course there is another question that is very important is we know that the cells in narcolepsy of a vaccine are, are destroyed, but we don't completely understand exactly how. Most likely, and almost 99.9% .9 in my opinion, is an autoimmune disease because all the genes that are associated with narcolepsy in humans have to do with the immune system and there are genes that have been involved in other autoimmune disease. In fact, even the shared genetic architecture of narcolepsy is very similar to type 1 diabetes, so it, where you lose the cells that produce insulin. So the model is very likely an autoimmune disease, which is triggered by the flu, but we really don't understand how the immune system System really targets these cells. And of course, it will be very important if we figure that out because that could also lead to ways of diagnosing narcolepsy better. We have trouble finding autoantibodies like in type 1 uh, diabetes, uh, but if we could add blood tests to diagnose narcolepsy, that will really change everything. We may even discover people who have mild form of narcolepsy, which I, I do believe uh, that they exist. So it's a very exciting field, both in the basic research but also in the treatment, because now we are going to have an effective treatment. One more thing, which is very interesting, is the data with this drug uh, 925 uh, seems to indicate that the patient with narcolepsy are hypersensitive, so, which is remarkable. They don't have this orexin peptide, so of course they are really, you know, it's fantastic for, for the patients to get it. And so even a lower dose than in control seem to control the symptoms quite well. So it's very, uh, it's very nice because, you know, it seems that the drug is going to be especially effective in narcolepsy type 1 which have no orexin. Now there's also a form of hypersomnia. People who are tired for no reason, and it's called narcolepsy type 2 or idiopathic hypersomnia. The drug can make people awake, but they have orexin already. So it's just something that supplements it, but it still helps this patient. So I suspect that these drugs are going to have implication not just for narcolepsy type 1 at low dose, but probably in other form of sleepiness or being tired at higher dose. So it's very exciting.